welcome to my YouTube channel. Guys, you stay if you God knows, in my heart, I am dancing. Guys, welcome. My name is B Kaba, for those who don't know me. And to all my subscribers, my honeybees, darlings, honeys, welcome home. Welcome home to everyone. I really, really appreciate the love, the likes, the comments, the sharing, the watching the videos throughout. I really, really appreciate it. Guys, God bless you. Ne? So today, as you can see, we are going to talk about, as you've read my title, we're going, to, we're going to talk about my pregnancy journey and grab coffee. Guys, today I'm drinking coffee. It's not cold, but me and coffee, I like this. So yeah, grab whatever that you want to grab. Get comfortable, feel at home, relax. Okay, so I've, I've discovered this corner and I felt like, camera lighting and everything it's working for me for now because it, i struggle with these settings but it doesn't matter i'm getting there ne? i'm getting there so this corner currently is working for me so yeah guys so um for those who've watched my videos have met my irish twins um i've got two baby girls that are driving me mad i love them so much so yeah, I've got Irish twins. Um, the first born is Olonatando, Kamani Nande, Baba. We are Kosa, Kosa girls over here. And then my second baby is Cheloluche Ezile, um, Baba. So I wanna tell you guys, I feel that this journey of mine is very interesting, and it's just like um a god given it's, it's like a unique gift that i got from god so i love telling my story so much when i meet someone at the store anyway and uh people ask me are they twins and i'm like you i just want to tell you everything like i love it so yeah let me take it back guys ne? so we got married 2013 and after uh getting married we thought okay let's wait a little bit and um we'll start with planning kids after we get a house so before marriage and after marriage i was on prevention i was on what do they call it again deep mm, deep um the one that you you go for every three months so i was on prevention because i didn't want to have kids up until we get a house so after um, we got married we stayed at my in-laws house for like Five months or something and we moved and we went to rent a room story for another day and then we got a place okay fine so when we got a place i decided okay fine when we bought a house uh, it was a flat i was like okay let's start okay, let me stop prevention and then we can start having a baby fine i stop prevention heaven one month two months three months four months hey ban no kid no pregnancy no catching no nothing <laughs> which i felt it was yo it was for for some people would say to me ah man it was it was just a few it was almost a year it was but it felt like forever you know i really understand that people who try for uh who try um conceiving for years i, I feel for them because for me it was months but it felt like i will not have kids ever in my life so fine we started going to a gynae and one gynae was like i'm not seeing anything everything is fine wara 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 keep trying drink prego pills what 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 okay month end but the periods instead of baby i am going to die i was i was putting pressure on myself in this case no one was putting pressure on me no my in-laws my family no one was putting pressure on me i myself even my husband was not putting pressure on me i was putting pressure on myself because i told myself that um oh we had planned that after we buy a house then we'll start um a family but it was not happening oh, every month or every after second month we were going to a gynecologist and then we started changing doctors or gynecologists so one time we went to soweto and then this doctor was checking me doing the pap smear and everything and this doctor was like 
you know what i see what was it like around my womb the mouth of my womb i don't know how to explain it. i'm not a doctor i'm not a specialist i am just a bee <laughs> i'm just a honey bee <laughs> so your womb is almost like open if i can explain it in in an easy way it's open and should you get pregnant and we don't like almost close this after after you conceive we must close the womb so that it's kawa like uska uska kraya miscarriage oh brah the doctor took me straight to depression eh? i'm sure i'm not sure if my family knows this because i haven't shared this with anyone except my husband or my closest friends some of them know so the doctor was like we need to close the womb because ugari almost like an infection I don't know. I don't know what was that. I I didn't hear it. All I heard is that whoop it got cosa horrible miscarriage because it's opened. Oh. But it, it to him he said it was it wasn't something big. You can conceive. There's nothing wrong. You can conceive. Um problem is that when you conceive we must close this so that cosa was anything. Yeah, okay, cool. But doctor, I'm not conceiving. What's going on? Doctor was like, no, nothing wrong. Continue with the pills. You're okay. We are taking pills. Month end, nothing. Bruh, the pressure. Yo, I was crying almost every month, thinking I might not be able to conceive. Guys, why, why is it taking so long? I mean, not knowing, Hori, when you prevent again, with um with guy injection it causes delays when it comes to conceiving but anyway the doctors were telling me or no everything is fine it goes on and on and nothing happens and then um i went to another doctor go kruger's lab and then that doctor was checking me as well he was showing me everything in my womb this is your womb this is this doctor was like i'm not seeing anything i'm telling him what the other doctor said so I don't know if whatever that was there is not there anymore. But this other doctor was like, no, I'm not seeing every, anything. Everything is fine. It's just that um, you need to get your periods, your menstruation cycle, even regular. So here are prevention pills. You need to take them. This is how you should take them. At least for three months. I'm like, yo, three months. I, like, it's long. I want a baby. So we want a baby. So... I was like, okay, cool, no problem. I'll take the pills and we'll see. My my menstruation it like regular. Those were I don't know what they call it, I forgot, but kitty prevention pills. He, he recommended those because he says they are working. They the it gets a family planning. He told me you take these when you are on your periods, the cycle gets you to your when you are ovulating and 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 okay cool fine that was my journey and struggling and feeling that we will never be able to conceive you know it was just so it was just taking long for us especially for me because the plan is not planning fine cool before then we had spoken before we got married we had spoken about having kids with my husband and i told him that i don't want a big gap between my kids there was this other friend of mine she's still my friend even now um she's got irish twins as well hers her twins i think are, are 13 months apart or something so when i met this friend of mine she had the girls they were so young and i loved it i normally see it with other um races like with black people yeah i see it but not a lot but like with other races you'd see her proper just like that so i think it was the first time i see it with this friend of mine Kosine, and yo i was like this is what i want this is what i've been wanting all along so i told my husband and my husband was cool with it this is how we're gonna have kids even people that work with me will tell you that's how i wanted to have i always said um I'm going to have bumper to bumper. You know, at work, I used to tell them that when I get pregnant, when I come back, even when I was pregnant, pregnant with my first baby, I told them when I come back, I'm going to sign another maternity leave form. <laughs> and they didn't believe me. Okay, so that's what I, um, I always told myself and I always wanted and something that I always confessed, which is what I want to tell you, sometimes power of the tongue is there. Not even sometimes, like there's power in the tongue and things that you say and manifest. And this time it was 
it was happening to me you know and sometimes you we were saying it jokingly but in a way that's what i wanted but not thinking it will happen for real you know cool then i went with my prevention pills from the doctor which i am i'm glad that they were regulating my menstruation first month i took them wrong i, I think it started like pleasing a red instead of a young or the kind of white instead of so first month ah nothing was making sense i went back to the doctor the doctor was like no this is how you take it he gave me other he gave me more packs then the second month i took it properly i finished that whole cycle that month i didn't finish the cycle because i think like nekiba knows yeah so like needing they didn't irritate but this second month my, my sister-in-law told me that these white ones are for ovulation so even if you stop taking them go that um ovulation cycle it's still cool you'll probably conceive we were just saying it it's not like that's how you should take it don't get me wrong but i stopped i took them for two and a half months i stopped on the ovulation um cycle because now necessarily my tweet i knew how to calculate okay my cycle is 30 days my ovulation is how many days so five days after after ovulation i'm fertile what 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 i was here i, I did i did a lot of research i was reading a lot of books i was on google like 24 7 trying to figure out how to conceive but anyway the doctor filled me in with everything and then the third month yes i stopped and then another thing is that <laughs> when i stopped ne, with the peel i told my husband okay we stopped now we should be having sex because the, i'm ovulating like ovulating periods baba i was forcing him even when he did not want to because brah, we were planning here ne? and then fine i think i stopped october 2016 i think no, 2015. Yeah, October 2015 because I, 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 I gave birth 2016. Fine, but I, I was calculating now. So I stopped the peel. Now I want to see. First month, nothing. Yo, devastated. I'm, I'm like, I shouldn't have stopped with those pills, but cool. Second month, when I'm ovulating, I got to go next. I just want those pens so we can conceive. <laughs> like it was just in my head, which is something I will not advice to someone when you you want a child like i feel like take it out of your mind so you can relax and because i felt like we were making love to have kids to to conceive not to enjoy it i was just wanting to have a baby you know so bad 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 but anyway it worked <laughs> it worked i conceived my first baby and the pregnancy was so nice it was smooth i only had problems with my low blood i was getting dizzy and sometimes i would just black out because of low blood but the pregnancy was proper um throughout the support my family was happy i remember when i told my husband that we are pregnant we went on a vacation with our other friends nikki willie um, her husband we went to Durban and then it was our anniversary month so on the 30th of November it was our anniversary so we went on vacation 2015 and I bought a pregnancy test and I took the test and I wrapped it in a nice little box as a gift so my pregnancy test was an anniversary gift to my husband yo it was so nice we had a video of it it was cool it was like ooh, it was a movie <laughs> so cool fast forward um we were happy and then i gave birth on the 25th of july 2016 which was great i went to one of the best hospitals around the west rent which is robinson hospital you've got your own private room private bathroom shower toilet own tv own um what's this um balcony my room had a balcony sliding door outside it was cool i had my own little garden there it was fine i when i gave birth it wasn't difficult at all so my first gynae told me that i won't be able to conceive naturally they will do a caesar because my baby's head is big so i was like yeah i believe you because my husband's head <laughs> it is big 
Kanti, no, this guy ni had her own agenda going on. Luckily, on the day that she booked me to... I didn't even know that she booked me for C-section. But on the day, I got a nice um, friendly nurse who told me that we are going to give birth natural. They, she didn't even tell me that I was booked. Um, so she was like, I, I think, I don't know if the nurse knew that I was booked for C's or not. Because we only found out after, give, after I've delivered that I was actually booked for Caesar. The people from theatre came, they were shocked that I gave birth. It was just God with everything. So the nurse was so kind. We pushed, I pushed three times and that baby was out. That big head was out. Shout out to that doctor. I think her name, I forgot her name, but shout out wherever she is. Bro, I, uh, you know what? She was kind. She was teaching me how to breathe, breathe in, breathe out. I was telling her, no, I don't want to breathe in and out. I know this is not working, but no. She told me, you know, relax, do this, do this, count, whatever. She, she, my, my, my delivery uh, process was amazing. It was proper. I pushed three times. I couldn't believe it. All. What? Did I just push that, guys? It was awesome, but the pain story for another day. Fine, and then. My gynae came after, she checked me, she was also negative. No, you were not supposed to push, wara, 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 but anyway, cool. Then I went home. So after the first baby, I didn't go to my house. I went to my mom's house after giving birth to Olo Natando. By the way, her name means this is love. This is God's love. Olo Natando. And then her second name um kamani nande means be fruitful and multiply so whatever we do wherever we go whatever god gives us it will be fruitful and it will multiply fine and nice names ne? i know <laughs> and then after giving birth i went to my mom's house it means like you just need to go home they mother you they they baby me they help me with my baby um for there's no rule for it but i stayed by my mom's house for two and a half months i think july um i stayed august september october i went back home i stayed there for like two and a half months um and then i went back to my house <laughs> first day when I went back to my house that day, Guru, my husband was like, <laughs> You've been gone for long, girl. <laughs> Just on that day, I believe that was the first intimacy, and that was it. I think I, we, we, we touched each other again, I don't know after how long. That's why I'm sure that on that day, that was the day. I conceived. Okay, so I wasn't on prevention. I wasn't on nothing. I, mean, I just gave birth. Why would I conceive again? I just gave birth. There's nothing there. I just gave birth. Can't people on that day. Ah, God is blessing us again. Kanjan. <laughs> anyway, cool. That day, hey, life goes on. Nothing happens. It's normal. Life goes on. My husband, we are married. Life goes on. And then, just before I went to meet, I went back to work. Man, something is not right with me. And this feeling, I know it because I felt it just not so long ago, just last year. I was feeling the same way. Can't <laughs> girl. I'm like, no, no, I know, I know myself. I went and took a pregnancy test. Ah, two lines. <laughs> two lines. I was like, yo, God, is this you? Yeah, are you like this? Hmm? You take me serious. On such a serious Guys, I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. Ne? And it's amazing how we pray for things. We say things. Ne? But when they happen, we like a, 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 a brick, brick. You know? And I took a pregnancy test. I remember I was kneeling down and I'm like, huh? Another one. My baby was almost three months Orona Tando was not even three months and we are pregnant again I sent my husband a picture on WhatsApp he was like are we pregnant I'm like mm. my husband was so happy I'm like guys 
I, I was even scared to tell my mom. I, same time, I didn't waste time. I sent my mom and my sister, we have a WhatsApp group. I sent them and I'm like, hey, two lines, I'm like, yeah. Surprising enough, my mom and my sister were happy. They were like, ah, oh, it's nice. Wara, 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 wara. And then fast forward, we went to my mother-in-law and my father-in-law little meeting with them when we told them my mother-in-law was like i mean your first child is kamani nande for a reason like she is mal be fruitful and multiply you guys are multiplying so nothing wrong with that yo guys i don't know how was how was i feeling then i don't know i don't know i was happy but there was something yeah and i mean am i feeling embarrassed am i feeling like we are too much these are proof of payments, proof of what you're doing. Bra like, did you have sex after giving birth? <laughs> but in the back of my mind, God was like, no, you asked for it. You've been asking for it even before you got married. It's something that you wanted. And I'm like, yeah, this is what I wanted. I didn't want a big gap. My mom has five year gaps between us. And we are so, cl we are close. We are like friends, me and my siblings. I love that. But me and I didn't want five years. I wanted closer, you know. But yeah, I was so excited. And then I went back to work. Okay, so because I was skinny, my tummy wasn't showing. When I went back to work, Things were proper. I told my boss Dane before um I went back to a Korea. Just know that when I come back, I'm taking another form. <laughs> my boss was like, girl, I you busy, you are a busy, busy girl. And then we had to tell our other boss because our other boss, like, she was like anti anti pregnancies. You know, remember when you get a job, you're stable, you're permanent. I mean you feel like you're you're okay you're financial financially stable you can raise your kids so everyone at work after being permanent or i mean it's a it's the age group you are bound to have kids so my big boss was going crazy bro hey my friend komoto and she was like Chami, what did you do i'm like it is what it is girl <laughs> so time went by the time you were starting to show yo at work they were like hey again not again not again you know we can't be having another baby shower <laughs> i was like don't worry guys no i'm sorted don't worry and then when we checked when we went for um gender what what and we found out that it's another girl the skin was like so clear she looked the second bone looked exactly like the first bone i was so happy because i always wanted twins like i love twin my mom is a twin and they they are just like one person like we have two moms like it's so nice i love twins so i was like yo thank god god is giving me twins homemade bumper to bumper i gave birth monday morning and monday afternoon <laughs> I don't want this video to be long guys 24 minutes okay fast forward um the 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 only issue although it wasn't affecting me much it was people are people close to me were okay with it but like the extended other people like church mates i remember this other magoko was like will you make it like other people outside my circle were so negative that how are you going to manage with two kids? You like, what I was getting negative around people and other people, maybe around my hood, they were like, I don't balance in one moon, live only balance in one Hey, 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 it was talk of the town. Like, I broke the record, bruh. Like, <laughs> nobody does this, but I did it. And I was so proud of me and my husband that God gave us these kids and we are going to raise them the way we want to. This is us, this are our rules at home. When you get married and start a family, you create your own rules, your own culture, your own things, you know? So I was, and I was, I was having support with my first. Uh, first born my mom my mom and my sister were there full time my mother-in-law was there full time so i didn't have struggles during pregnancy having to take care of the other child people around me were there my husband was there full force my husband used to stay with the kids when i go whenever so i didn't struggle with like i had a community to raise my kids with so 
so yeah i was like okay cool i have the second baby but then with my second baby there were complications towards the end of the pregnancy the umbilical cord was around her neck so the doctor was booked me in closer to my pregnancy almost a few, a few weeks before the estimated date booked me in because the baby he, the doctor wanted to monitor um the movement and stuff so i stayed in hospital for like a week yeah for like seven days bed rest hospital uh, robinson hospital the best again i was there were, when i went back to um robinson hospital they were like were you not here last year were you not here yesterday girl <laughs> i was like it's me i'm back <laughs> i'm back so yeah hey people were shocked about this whole thing i mean you just gave birth now and you're back with another baby i remember when i gave birth my first was not even a year yet <laughs> she was about 10 months almost 11 months she was not even 11 months when i gave birth but god was great throughout the um, the whole story of the baby having an uh, umbilical cord and then when i went to delivery a whole lot of mess happened where my 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 other guy i found a guy second guy he was so good to me and then he left me with a nurse uh, because I, I was not dilating or something it was gonna take me like hours to dilate or something so this nurse i don't know if she was not experienced or she was not doing her job properly she made me push when i was in labor she made me push and i was only six centimeters and she says i was nine centimeters when she realized that no she made a mistake she took the ctg scan report ct what's that thing yamo building she threw away the papers that showed that no i'm not there yet she like she threw away proof you know Jorge, i couldn't do anything she was asking me to push and i'm telling her girl i did this last year i don't feel the edge to push i know what i'm talking about here and she was like she's also a nurse she knows what she's talking about it was battle of nurse and baby number two so it was hectic and then Kanti, the more i push I was straining the baby the cot was pulling um her neck and then there were complications my gynae came and i had to be rushed to theater and they made me sleep and then my baby was there when i woke up i was so stressed i'm thinking my baby's gone maybe you know when you give birth it's a matter matter of life and death it's only god that is saving the both of you is we take it for granted you know after giving birth we will all be okay it's it's such a uh, um a thin line Hore. one of you can die because yeah they, that process of giving birth either natural birth or c-section it's hectic but by the grace of the lord we both made it and that's how i gave uh, that's how i gave birth to my second baby 11 months now they are 11 months apart so they are called irish twins they are driving me mad at this point but yo, i love them so much because it's amazing so now i have two babies they are both um on formula they are both on nappies it's like i have the twins you know i used to buy four big tins of formula four packs of nappies everything double 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 yo but my second child was was a cry baby so it stressed me so much made me lose weight like crazy because she was such a cry baby but um one thing i've learned from my experience is that your experience is your experience we can't compare it to anyone and even with the people around you um, surround yourself with people that will be able to support you because raising just one child just one can be so overwhelming being a mom being a new mom can be so overwhelming you can have post and pre what pre post what what pregnancy what what stress sales are raise um Moana, it's too much the baby cries you wake up every morning even when my husband was there but my husband i mean he, he's a guy he can only feed this baby he can't do much or he can only change nappies there and there but as a mom you do so much even when you have a partner that is supportive sometimes you don't even have a partner that is supportive so it's it's strain us guys it's it, yo i don't blame people that go through depression but 
all I'm saying is that um, try to stay positive when you're raising a child because it's not easy. Try to read a lot of things that are motivational, things that will um, encourage you to wake up and choose to do this. Because you sometimes you don't even have a choice, but you have to wake up and raise this person. You must breastfeed. Sometimes breastfeeding is difficult. With my first child, breastfeeding was the worst thing because my baby couldn't latch. Like, and this baby was... Uh, like she used to eat so much she wasn't getting full got my 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 breast milk and i used to have milk when i bath i'd bath with white water like my milk was just coming out like that but i couldn't breastfeed this child it was so stressing it was frustrating my mom was trying to teach me my sister Mara, it wasn't happening so i had to go for formula you know so sometimes people even make you feel bad for not um, breastfeeding not knowing, Hori, you are not breastfeeding by choice. The baby is not leching. The babies, some babies have a whole, have a, have a breastfeeder or what. They can be whatever reason. So I'm just saying to people, don't be too hard on mummies that are not breastfeeding that choose to go for formula. They have their own reasons. Some need to go back to work, you know. So it was just a, a journey for me that I've learned so much and with my second pregnancies things that i've learned that people will talk there are people that can have babies but you get people that are talking Ooh, she can't have babies why don't you have your second born why don't you have your third born? why do people talk people will talk no matter what i had my baby just one after the other you think people will be happy no if i didn't have a baby and waited 10 years people will still talk and whatnot so it's just a journey that i've learned so much i was not just learning to be a mom but i was learning my strength learning how to stand up for myself I was also learning that people will come tricks and what on how to raise a child but it will be up to you to stand up and say this is how I'm going to raise my child you know so yeah um if you're watching there and uh, you're going through a moment whereby you are having kids after the other by choice maybe or not by choice those kids are still a blessing to God and if God trusted you enough to give you those kids to make you fertile and conceive it's a great blessing and we take it for granted because other people are not able to you know so raise them the best way you know how to no matter if you're married or not no matter if how you got those kids raise them the, the best way you know how to the best way god is giving you wisdom ask for wisdom from god to help you raise these kids and then to those that are trying to conceive so much i also know how it feels i know even if for me it wasn't yes ne, but i know the pain of every month hoping that you will not get your periods and then you get them hoping for you will do that pregnancy test and find out that you are getting two lines you are getting three weeks more than plus three weeks plus pregnant and you're not getting it do not give up do not give up god will make it happen we 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 pray and praise the god that is alive that it can be after such a long time that it, we, we've seen, we've heard stories of women giving birth at, the, at 40, at 50. So God makes it happen. So please remember to pray and trust God that it will happen. One thing I can advise the people that are trying is to take it out of your mind and give it to God. Take it from your heart to God. Take it from your mouth to God, you know, because it can be stressing to always, always be like it's one thing that is so depressing but i feel like i if i had just forgotten about it i wouldn't have put pressure on myself and don't put pressure on the people that are also putting pressure the neighbors the friends the, the in-laws that's saying how how for what you understand stand your ground and believe that god is gonna make it for you that's what i believe you know god will make it at the right time where God wants it 
um, especially sometimes when the doctors are always telling you there's nothing wrong with you definitely there's nothing wrong with you sometimes we want things to happen at the time and feels like no, not now you still you still have an assignment to to do before you have kids you know so yeah guys i hope this interesting story of mine um is interesting to you as well and it's encouraging someone out there that is trying and new mummies that are going through a lot it doesn't matter how you gave birth natural birth um c-section you gave birth girl you are strong giving birth is bro women are strong women are the strongest people alive and god has trusted us with this so um carry these kids with pride raise them with pride you know they are yours god trusted you and god will take you through so guys thank you so much for watching this video i love you so much please comment there share your stories if you want to um like um share the video you know i'd spread the word that your honeybee is here guys i love you so much if you haven't subscribed guys please do not be left behind um please subscribe and keep it home and enjoy i love you oh, guys my coffee is cold i love you so guys i wanted to show you this irish twins of mine <laughs> this is the first baby the first irish twin and this is the second irish twin tell them to subscribe that's Everything is easy when you come around.